Hi everyone, my name is Nikki. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make flashcards. So as you can see, here are some of my biology flashcards. I'm going to be going over the process, what kind of things I use, and the whole idea of how I make them efficient and brilliant to revise from. Last week's video was a how I take notes video, and I'm basically making the flashcard in this video based off the notes that I took then. So if you want a bit of extra in-depth analysis into how I actually take the notes for my flashcards, and another really efficient way of revising, then you can watch that video. It will be linked in the description down below and also in the cards in the top right corner. So here I'm just showing you some different types of flashcards from biology. So you can see there are some with lots of diagrams and others that are more information packed. I have the same header and I always write the actual topic at the top in capital letters and I usually highlight the subheadings as well and write them in capitals so that they're really easy to see and everything is all sectioned off. Here you can see that the subheadings, so artery, vein and capillary are written in capitals and highlighted. This helps me really visualize everything and set it all out but also the main point is to try and bullet point the information, keep it concise because this is supposed to be a refresher of information not a method of all learning it so it needs to be very concise, straight to the point and something that you can briefly look over and will be useful for you. Something that I do that's slightly different to how I take notes, I highlight some key points that are very important in this light grey tone so it helps make it different and make it stand up but also it helps make it appear different to for example the titles that I highlight. So this is a note page that I'm going to be making a flashcard on and I'll be talking through the whole process with you. First of all I begin by writing the subject at the top so this is biology. This just helps me identify all of my flashcards really quickly and I like to make my titles quite simple and minimal so it doesn't take too much time and take up too much space. What I do I use one highlighter color and then I draw two lines going across the top of the page. Then I I have a fine liner in a corresponding color to the highlighter and underneath the subject I will then write the topic that the flashcard is on so it's easily visible. While the main point of making good flashcards and good notes is to help you when revising and actually learning the subject, I also like to make them look pretty and visually appealing that's why I like to go with a cohesive color scheme. So as you can see here I've just written the subtitle in capitals and highlighted it to make it stand out and separate from the main text. Then I'm bullet pointing all of the processes and all of the necessary information. It's incredibly important that you can condense it as much as you can so it's a really good recap and refresh resource but then also it might be a good idea to perhaps look at your note page and then get a scrap piece of paper and then write down the key points on there then transfer them onto flashcards. So as you can see now I'm using that fine liner and adding the bullet points and this little angled arrow here is an extra information arrow so if I want to add some more information to a certain point or if there's something else that happens I can add that and I can visually see that there is something else that's happening. I don't like writing in one huge block of text and I find that being able to draw these bullet points and extra information arrows really helps set everything out and make it easier to see and be able to pick out each piece but also it breaks up the chunk of text too. I also like to make sure that all of the bullet points and arrows are aligned so again it's easy to find everything. At the bottom here I've just written some extra information and atherosclerosis in capitals so it stands out. If you really want something to stand out you can write it in capitals or perhaps write it in the cohesive color that you're using. I decided to highlight it in the gray. Always remember that when making flashcards you've got to condense the information as much as possible so it's minimal note taking and the purpose of this is supposed to be a quick refresh and recap so so it has to be very concise. On the reverse side I'm then writing thrombosis in capitals and then I will be highlighting that and then going through and bullet pointing my information but really condensing it and concising it as much as I physically can. So you can see I'm also starting to implement that same line technique where I'm, I'm basically saving a space for all of the indentations or bullet points. As you'll be able to see in a minute the actual piece of information that I'm writing onto the flashcard was quite large so I have cut it down by quite a lot and sometimes you just need to be able to find all of the keywords perhaps look at a few mock schemes for example and of different exam questions and then try and pick out the most important pieces of information or perhaps you might know that you struggle on a certain part of a process or a certain part of a topic so you should know what you need to write down the most or what you would find most useful to have in your flashcard. 
Again, I'm going in to add the bullet points and extra information arrows. I sometimes do this at the end once I've finished writing down the information, just to speed up the process so I'm writing more efficiently. I can actually get the information down and then focus on making it look pretty and adding those extra bullet points. Then, of course, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go in with my grey highlighter and highlight some of the most important parts, and just important pieces that I might need to stand out in the text. So I've highlighted thrombosis there. And as a brief recap, here we go. So we've got the very simplistic title page with everything clearly written. And then for all of the subheadings, I wrote them in capitals and highlighted. Extra important information I'll highlight in a slightly different color. And then of course, I still go ahead with the bullet points and extra information bullet points to break up the text and also make it easier to decipher where everything is. And as you can see, this is a part of the text that I've condensed and I've actually condensed that down into three bullet points. So you can see it is possible. So that's my method of how how I make flashcards and condense my notes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and it is useful. If you'd like any other sort of revision videos or you want me to talk about any of my A-level subjects or perhaps how I revise for those, then please drop a comment in the comments down below. Happy revising, I wish you guys the best for all of your exams and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!